Hi students, I hope all of you had good health. So today we will be learning our next practical video lesson on the structure of a dicot seed. Now students, what is a seed? Seed is a ripened ovule and Seeds are mainly of two types. One is the monocot, another is the dicot. Now monocot seed are those which consist of one seed leaf or cotyledon and dicot seeds are those which consist of two seed leaves or cotyledons. Also, depending on the presence and absence of endosperm within a seed, we classify seed into endospermic and non-endospermic seed. Now students, over here, as you all can see, I have taken gram seed in its various germinating conditions so that I can show you the dissected part of this gram seed. So let me begin. Now, Gram seed is a dicot seed. As you can see students, over here in the middle there is a portion. By dissecting this part, we will be getting two seed leaves. I will dissect you and show you that it has two seed leaves. That is why it's a dicot seed. So, and this brown color portion, brown color outer portion, outer covering which you all can see. This is the seed coat and seed coat mainly consists of two parts. One is the testa, another is the tegmen. Now testa and tegmen mainly protects the seed from mechanical injury and prevents the internal tissue from microbial invasion or growth inside. Now I will be taking this seed and I will be dissecting it to you so that you can understand the different parts. So give me one minute so that I can show you. So students over here you can see the dissected part of grams are kept over here. Okay and what you can see over here students this is the gram seed which after dissecting the outermost portion I have got this is known as the seed coat or the testa and tegmen together okay and then this is the testa and tegmen together then within the testa and tegmen we get this cotyledon the two seed leaf present over here and inside the seed leaf we can find the entire we can find the entire endosperm present over here so since here are two cotyledons present therefore gram gram is an example of dicot seed and within this endosperm is present therefore it is also an example of dicot endospermic seed and within the seed the tiny organ the tiny embryo i hope all of you can see the tiny embryo present over here this is the embryo which is present within this within this seed okay this tiny embryo this portion this topmost portion, this portion is known as the micropyle. Now at the initial stage, this micropyle helps in entry of water and also help in gaseous exchange. Now after soaking this seed in water, what happened? Water entered into the seed with the help of this micropyle portion. This act as a passage and when the water enters the seed, the embryo activates and the radical which will later give rise to the root system first develops from this portion. This is below. 
okay that means my this radical is the first portion of the embryo that develops through this micropyle below in the ground so that it can absorb further water and mineral so required for development of the embryo and later on from the top portion the plumule will come up a better example or rather another example which i can give you is that of the tamarind seed now students tamarind is also a dicot seed this i am showing you to explain that this entire plant is in its germinating stage rather complete complete germinating stage you can see the radical has grown down and finally it has produced a root system over here and from the above the plumule will give rise to the shoot system along with this tiny leaves similarly gram will also produce this radical at the in initial stage so that it can develop into the root system and finally the plumule will come out to give rise to the shoot system so students i hope you have understood the structure of a dicot seed of gram and you have enjoyed the class thank you so much have a nice day